So I haven't asked anybody to fire your rockets yet, so hang on for a second. Because I'm gonna, we're going to stop for a minute, which is sometimes what scientists do and engineers after they've built their, their gadget. Is it darling? Now we're going to stop and we're going to design our test process. A lot of times engineers, after they build a prototype, actually even before they build the prototype, they figure out how they're going to test it and what parameters it's supposed to meet. And we want your rocket's launcher to meet two parameters. One is accuracy and the other is distance. Distance without accuracy is not so useful, and accuracy without distance isn't so useful. Engineers almost always have to meet two conflicting parameters at the same time. I'm using all these vocabulary words too, parameters and specifications and prototypes and stuff like that. Those would be great words to uh, include in your, in your lesson. Now we're ready to test this. And what, the way we're going to do that is go in the other room. And you'll notice that we've hung three targets from the ceiling. <laughs> and so this is not an activity in which we try to kill each other, because that's not what engineers would do with these things. Engineers would test them, test those two parameters of distance and accuracy. And when you test this, just as it is, you will notice a couple things. It works, hopefully. If it doesn't work, that's a great opportunity for something called troubleshooting. And you can, you can look at it yourself and figure it out what needs to be fixed in order to get it to work. Sometimes there's a leak somewhere, and you have to figure out where that is and fix the leak in this particular prototype. When you're done with your first round of tests, I would like you to experiment with adding a fin or fins to your rocket. What do you notice about like uh, rockets that you see oftentimes when they're launched? Do they have fins? Yes. And where are they? In the back. And uh, what else do we know about that has fins? Airplanes. Airplanes. Airplanes have a tail. Arrows have fins in the back. Some birds have a special tail to help them keep going in a straight line. So first test your rocket just as it is and notice how it flies with no tail. Then, round two, you're going to refine your prototype rocket by adding a tail. And you can design your tail any way you want. People come up with pretty odd and interesting tails. But here's one way to do it. And I'm just going to show you. Don't do it yet. Do it later. But I'm just showing you now because I'm going to send you to the other room. Put it on there like a flag. See that? I've taken the label off the backing. And then I fold it over like, uh, you know, half an inch. See what I did there? Mm -hmm. And then I stick it to the, to the uh, tube again. And then I fold it over another half inch and stick it to the tube again. Now I have mm -hmm. two fins. And then I fold it over a half inch. If I'm really lucky, there's a little bit left. I can stick it on there again. And look, can you see that? Marvelous. So that's a way to make three fins. Now these are great big enormous fins and they're a little on the cockamamie side there, <laughs> but yours will be much straighter. So that you can test this, then if you want to you can test what happens if you make them bigger, smaller, you can cut them, you can add, you have more labels, you can add labels, okay? So once you're done with your gadget, which you probably are, let's go over to the other room and uh, use our firing range.